Our focus at Ocular Therapeutics is to use sustained release therapies to target unmet needs in the leading uh, causes of blindness in the U.S., which combined together comprise uh, an addressable market of about $11 billion. We've invested heavily in what we think are the critical ingredients for success in this area. Uh, numerous uh, early to late stage product candidates, a proprietary hydrogel delivery platform for drugs, and uh, an experienced and very knowledgeable, committed team that wants to make a difference in ophthalmology. The hard work is starting to pay off, as evidenced by our recently announced collaboration with Regeneron to develop a sustained release form of ILEA, and if approved, the launch of Dextenza, our first sustained release drug product. Sustained release therapies in, for eye disease have many benefits, a few of which are shown on the slide here. Our pipeline includes Resure wound sealant, which is commercially available, and uh, a series of early and late stage candidates. Our intracanalicular inserts, Dextenza and OTXTP, for post-surgical inflammation and uh, glaucoma are in late stage clinical development. And our intraocular implants, OTX-TIC for glaucoma and OTX-IVT and TKI for retinovascular diseases are in various stages of preclinical development, which I'll go into in a moment. Our lead sustained release candidate, Dextenza, uh, targets the uh, complex and for patients and their caregivers often confusing steroid eyedrop regimens, which uh, are currently used after most intraocular surgeries, and Dextenza is able to replace approximately seven separate individual dose events with a single administration. This short video shows the dry form of Dextenza being inserted into the canaliculus of the lower lid. It hydrates on contact with fluid to anchor itself in place and uh, remain there for about a month until it dissolves through hydrolysis. A blue light with yellow filter, cobalt setting on the slit lamp, will allow uh, presence and position of the product to be monitored. And uh, an NDA for treatment of ocular pain after surgery for Dextenza is under review at the FDA. Dextenza has been studied after cataract surgery in over 550 clinical trial subjects. And uh, in two out of three phase three trials met its primary efficacy endpoints for absence of pain at day eight and absence of anterior chamber cell at day 14. Not shown here are also, in my mind, compelling data which show good pain relief uh, for, with Dextenza as soon as the day after surgery, which is the time when many patients are struggling to get their eye drops going. Dextenza's safety was good and well tolerated, comparable with other topical steroids that have been studied in this setting. The most common anterior chamber AEs were anterior chamber, excuse me, the most common AEs were anterior chamber inflammation and elevated IOP. Uh, in the case of IOP, really only one instance across our entire phase three clinical development program was felt to be product related as seen in the chart at the bottom of the slide. Patients like Dextenza, and this, these are the uh, patient reported outcome results from a subset of our phase three cohort. You can see that all of them found the insert comfortable. Over 90% would recommend to a family member, and over 80% were willing to pay more than for eye drops. Uh, market research that we uh, have conducted at Ocular Therapeutics also found a good reception in the ophthalmology community. Over 90% of ophthalmologists felt that compliance during this uh, single course steroid tapering period of one month after eye surgery is a problem, and about 80% of them thought Dextenza could become the standard uh, of care. Other attributes that were felt to be favorable that were mentioned were the absence of preservatives, the ease of use, uh, low uh, potential IOP spike risk, and the self-tapering nature. These are our glaucoma products, OTXTP in phase three development, and OTXTIC, which is an anterior chamber implant that we hope to uh, take into the clinic later this year. Our back of the eye 
uh, pipeline includes OVX IVT, which is the collaboration with Regeneron to develop a sustained re uh, release form of ILEA, and OTX TKI, which is a small molecule implant that can deliver uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors to the back of the eye for up to six months, and we hope to take this into the clinic later this year as well. So looking forward, we at Ocular are excited for the remainder of 2017. We have a PDUFA date coming up for Dextenza at the FDA on July 19th, and if approved, we anticipate our full commercial launch in the first part of 2018. OTXTP continues to progress well through its phase three development program, and we plan to launch a second phase three trial uh, this fall in Q3. And as I mentioned, the intracameral glaucoma and intravitreal TKI implants will likely go into the clinic first in human trials this year. And uh, not to be uh, minimized, our uh, collaboration with Regeneron is ongoing, and we continue to be very excited by it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.